Okay. I'm gonna get stoked when I step on this. Yep. Oh. See you, pal. <laughs> and there he goes. Hey guys, we're in the 993 Carrera RS and we have Christy, I don't know if you can see, and the 992 right behind us. We're going to PTN after dark at Mina's shop uh, in downtown Toronto. Hopefully it's going to be a big turnout. I think it's supposed to be a really good big turnout. I guess one of like the CEO of something or Porsche Canada is leaving and his replacement starting. So I think it's uh, me to celebrate that. Um, sorry, I, my car mount broke, so I got to hold my camera while shifting and everything's a little tough. But yeah, we're going to go see what cars are going to be there. Usually there's a huge turnout, a ton of GT3 RS, a GT2 RS, we'll paint sample cars. Never know, maybe a hyper car is going to show up, uh, good food, good drinks, you know. Just a good night, so yeah, let's go see what's there. Okay, so we just got to the PTN meet, and there is two Maserati MC20s here, weirdly, but I've never taken a close look at one yet. Pretty cool, doors goes up. I didn't even realize the door goes up on this, but I really want to look at the interior, because honestly, I really don't like Maserati normally. But I'm a big fan of the MC20. Very cool interior. It's actually a sporty Maserati for once. You know, they haven't had that really since the MC12. But I'm really, really liking the look of this car. I think for like the 300,000 Canadian or whatever it is. Oh, I didn't even realize there's Ford Carbon on the door. But I think for the price, I mean, it's kind of cooler than buying, you know, your McLaren 570 or anything like that because those are kind of everywhere. But yeah, I, I really, really like the MC20. I think once it appreciates to like 100 and something, I think it's going to be a great buy, a great 911 alternative. Obviously, it's going to take a while, but I do really, really like these, and I don't mind the six-cylinder at all. So we parked the 993 right here. There is a 991 Turbo, another MC20, but then this is the second GT4 RS I think I've ever seen. This one is a non set car, all yellow. Pretty cool to see it like that. I actually like the clean look of it with no like carbon fiber breaking up the look. Very cool wheels. Just looks very good in yellow. Obviously, PDK because they're all PDK. I like this wing, almost reminds you of the GT3 wing. Yeah, GT4 RS, manufacturer plates. So this car has been getting tested by a few journalists, I think, around here. Oh yeah, pretty cool. So Jason's not here, he's in New York, and I'm not here with my GT4, but it literally looks like me and Jason are here. That is Jason's car, but that is not my car. So G-Wagon 4x4 squared, of course, in the yellow. You gotta get in the yellow. Uh, and then, pretty cool. I think this might be the press car that I drove, Targa Manual, and then both Neil's and Vasili's 7 Series, pretty cool. Neil's one of the green was actually a manual. So now we're in the outside lot. There's a green, lizard green, GT3 RS. You know, I feel like they're all lizard green, but you know, not bad. 600 LT Spider, 996 Turbo. I think these cars are actually pretty like underrated. They did start to catch up. The price was very cheap before, now it's starting to go back up. Uh, I think it's a GTS, yeah, 992 GTS, another one. And then Maths GT3 RS. Blue GT4, pretty cool. This is a crazy loud GT3. Hopefully we'll get to hear it a bit later on. Uh, but yeah, pretty good lineup here. A lot of pretty cool cars. Chrissy's 992 right there. Mina's van. And I see a white GT4. Not gold wheels though, so different wheels. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool lineup. So R34, I don't think it's a real GTR, but I don't know. I don't know really much about these cars. We're gonna learn about a lot more about these in Monterey. I'll drive Jason's car, I'll do all that and see see what they're like, see what they're all about. I've never really driven one. Uh, but one more caught my eye is this. This is pretty sick. 997 GT3 RS, pretty cool background, city, skyline. But yeah. Very cool. Let's see, I don't know if it sounds good or not, but let's see. And I gotta keep talking so the music doesn't pick up and I don't get demonetized. So let's hope this thing makes a lot of noise. I don't know if he's gonna do anything, but. It looks pretty cool. I don't mind it. Guys, we're going to another collecting cars in Yorkville event. So far this year, the collecting cars in Yorkville have been the best events in Toronto of the year. Only thing is, it's looking like there's a very big chance for rain today. So I hope cars are still going to show up. I'm definitely taking the Carrera RS no matter what. Uh, but yeah, we'll go there. I'm sure some stuff will show up. I don't know if any hypercars will show up because of the rain, but I think we still have a pretty good chance. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, collecting cars was a pretty big disappointment this morning. Uh, not that I'm blaming it on them, honestly, it was all the weather. The weather was just horrible, it was on and off rates. Pretty much anybody with like a 
decent enough car wouldn't have shown up. So I honestly didn't really end up filming anything. There really wasn't anything that I have been filmed before and there wasn't anything really too serious. Um, so yeah, honestly right now I'm just kind of gonna drive around Toronto, maybe I'll find some cool cars and then we're gonna meet up with Zach and shoot and we're honestly kind of hoping for rain so the photos come out a little cooler. But yeah, right now we're just driving around in the RS. So I completely forgot and it would actually probably make a ton of sense to actually do this because we have these cars right here. But I can actually show you the difference, which I probably should put in the other video, of the Carrera RS, the Carrera, and the Turbo, like visual differences. But yeah, I can actually show you because I have all three of them side by side. Again, if I miss anything or get anything wrong, it's because I really don't know much about these cars. I'm still just learning about the RS. But so yeah, RS, obviously we went over. Big wing, you know, different front lip. Just overall more aggressive car. Then here we have the base car, the Carrera. Obviously you see the wheels are completely different. These are actually kind of similar to 996 style wheels, but these are 993s. Front bumper completely different with the different lip. As you can see here, just overall less aggressive car and obviously no wing at all. Also, most of the regular 993s came with sunroofs. As you can see on both of these, this one does not have a sunroof to save some weight and to lower the center of gravity a little bit. So this is kind of the Carrera, has the regular seats. Just, you know, definitely a more kind of normal looking car. Uh, and then next to it, we have the Turbo. Turbo has a completely different spoiler, has kind of like a lower down, more longer. I forgot what they call this, but you can see the differences. Uh, same thing, Turbo is more for, you know, luxuries. It's got the sunroof, it's got the more comfortable seats, got the more normal wheels, more normal looking front. Uh, and for a Turbo, you can obviously tell that it is a lot wider on the side. So this one, I believe is actually a wider body than the Carrera RS, but I'm not 100% sure. And yeah, and then the Carrera RS right here. So pretty cool little differences. And you know, kind of three variations of uh, what's kind of known as the best 911. Okay, so the only downside about driving all these cars every weekend is that it's cars that I've always really wanted to drive. And you know, I don't really have the self-control not to drive them. So pretty much every time I have these cars for a weekend, I spend a crazy amount of money on gas. This is literally the third time I filled up this weekend. So, yeah, kind of the only downside, but you know, worth it, it's miles per gallon. Okay, so first location we're shooting at is outside this theater with all these neon lights. We're kind of hoping it's gonna rain so we get some cool reflections. Uh, I can feel some drops and there's been some crazy lightning, so I think it is coming. Well, yeah, looks pretty cool. We got Zach trying to get hit by cars. Yeah, looks so sick. Stumbled across a wedding, so it might be tough to get photos, but it is what it is. The rain is starting to get pretty heavy. Also, there's a random green R8, and I think it's a gate. Yeah, it's a gated V10 in green. Very cool, but yeah, come on. Way cooler. Yeah, rain is starting to get pretty heavy. Zach is going to get absolutely soaked, but that's okay. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, exactly. Uh, super rare because this is this a 14 or two, this is yeah this is a plus this is like a 14 15 so in this year they actually made them the dual clutch transmission instead of single clutch for the automatic so even less people got the manual yet alone with a color like this but yeah this is still a manual this is probably very good chance is the only one in this color in a manual in the world very good chance because honestly the facelift r8s of this gen almost none of them with the v10s came in manuals very very hard to find Okay, we have some issues. It is pouring rain. The AC doesn't work. There's no air, so the windows are fogging up. I cannot see a fucking thing. Yeah, we're kind of fucked here. Um, but we have a mini map, so. Yeah, I'm literally looking at the map, trying to look at the road. What the fuck? Oh yeah, we're Holy fucked. Holy shit! I cannot see him. Holy fuck! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, my fucking socks are drenched! Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Got this a plan. is fucked. So that neon is not on. Guys, this is fucked! Look at this! Look at this! We have the fucking Carrera RS right there. I don't know if any Carrera RS has ever been in rain this hard. Look at this. What the hell? <laughs> Look how fucking drenched you are! Anything for the shot. Anything for the shot. I'm just gonna move the car over here. Hold on. You ready? Hold I don't on. think I've ever seen you run. Okay, both phones. 
Got the phone. Yes, we're good. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna get soaked when I step in the paddle. Okay. I'm gonna get soaked when I step in the See you, pal. <laughs> and there he goes. Okay, so rain got a little better, but still we have some issues. So the car doesn't like being in slow traffic in the city with like AC on and the defroster on. So the problem is now when we have the defroster to make sure there's no moisture on the windshield, and then the car overheats. If we have the windows iron no, and without that, then we get wet. So now we kind of have to figure out what we want to do. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to drive this car back home today or not. But yeah, right now we're just kind of dealing with that driving in small distances. So yeah, sorry for the wet lens, but kind of got to work with what we have. We're shooting a toy box. Zach is in this little alley taking photos. And yeah, pretty sick. Gonna look sick with the kind of pink reflecting on the car. White cars is kind of the best car to shoot here. We have Adam in the Bronco support car. Pretty sick. Good. Put, put the light down for now. Just wait for this guy to move and we'll be good. Okay, so Zach is taking us to some sketchy ass spots to do some photos. Alright. Yeah, right there's perfect. So yesterday Zach takes us through a flood to take photos of the car and now he takes us through like a crackhead neighborhoodish. Gotta have some character. Yeah, I gotta have some character. Eventually something's gonna happen. But for now, the car is still safe. Okay, so I just dropped off the Carrera RS. I'm back in my GT4. First of all, again, every time I drive something and get back into this, it feels weird, but this is definitely the weirdest the car has ever felt to me after driving something else. Like, everything feels very, like, elastic and very, like, I don't want to say heavy, but, like, the clutch just feels so weird. The shifter feels so weird. Like, the shifter feels very high up. Clutch feels very short. And, like, again, the 993 is a floor-mounted clutch, so getting back like a normal clutch is completely weird. So it's going to take me probably... A, few minutes to get used to that again car feels everything so much tighter and so much not heavier but yeah just like a little harder um but yeah so honestly i spent an extra day with the 993 didn't really expect to but at the end of it i was kind of happy to get back into my own car like the car is a little finicky uh you know it doesn't like idling doesn't like standing in traffic and we're kind of doing a lot of that especially today was a little bit of a cooler day but the last few days have been like a heat wave and you know it's, the car just doesn't like it the car didn't really want to behave too well so i'm kind of happy to be back in a normal car but man that was a disaster with the rain we wanted some rain we didn't want that much rain uh but yeah honestly probably made a good video and i'm gonna edit it right now when i get home it's like 1 a.m right now uh but yeah so that's it for today uh probably gonna do a review of another car on friday post saturday and then i'll find a few other things to do before car week but man we're getting really really close to car week i'm super excited it's gonna be absolutely wild so stay tuned for that and i'll see you next time